Today is Thursday, January 7th, 2021, the day after the protests at the U.S. Capitol. In addition to this reflection, I invite you to prayer at Our Lady of Lourdes all day. Tomorrow, Friday, our church will be open, and we will have Eucharistic adoration from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Friday, January 8th. All are welcome. This is my reflection, my homily, from this morning's readings, the morning after the protests, the deaths at the Capitol. In the New Testament letter of St. John, we read today at Mass, if anyone says he loves God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. There's a lot of liars out there. I am also a liar, at times also succumbing to this sin. St. Paul writes, if you are angry, let it be without sin. Do not let the sun set on your wrath. Do not give the devil a chance to work on you. Anybody angry? Anybody upset? The world, the news, the traffic, the weather every 10 minutes gives us reason to be irritated, frustrated, angry. We may come to church angry at ourselves, angry at somebody else, angry at God. My own philosophy is that anger is never, anger is always expressed, anger is never hidden or concealed. Anger may not be expressed correctly, it might not be expressed clearly, it might not be expressed coherently. It might not be expressed immediately or imminently. Maybe we're just talking to ourselves, but anger is always expressed. Wednesday, January 6th at the Capitol, the Capitol doors were breached. Protesters clashed with Police, police were injured, four people died. Was this the, just the latest in a long line of angry or anger-filled protests? What is the solution to anger? More violence? On January 18th, we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. In his speech, Loving Your Enemies, Martin Luther King Jr wrote this, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. So only the illumination of light can drive out darkness, only the charity of love can drive out hate. The protests at the U.S. Capitol, at the Congress, were certainly chaotic, they were national and international news, but this was not the only time that anger has ever been manifested, demonstrated as evil. The protests in D.C. are an advertisement. They are a billboard, if you're old enough to remember what a billboard is. Or they are a pop-up ad on your screen. The protests in D.C., the chaos in D.C., or an advertisement, a billboard, a pop-up ad for church and for prayer, not because we support this type of protest, but because we are against this type of protest and because we have a whole different way of doing things. In the psalm of today's Mass, we read, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. And adoration of God is also about loving God and loving our neighbor. The two go hand in hand. The January 6th protests advertise our need for church, for prayer, for truthfulness, for integrity, and for community. They are an advertisement for the truthfulness and community that comes to us through the gospel and through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Jesus was once dragged off to court, dragged off to the government where he gave up his life, 
gave up his clothing, gave up everything, and divided his body for us. He makes atonement so that we might survive. He also gives us a standard of truth and love, a standard of truthfulness. And if you're going to be a protester, if I'm going to be a protester, then we stand for truth. There must be some standard of truth. But what we saw at the Capitol yesterday was not a pursuit of truth or truthfulness or honesty. It was a declaration of independent relativism, that only my opinion matters and I don't care about what is really true. Or it's also a statement that I'm a victim or victimhood, a victimhood run rampant. We don't believe in that. We don't need to be victims because we believe in the truth, the truth of forgiveness, the truth of salvation, of community. And what we saw at the gospel was at what we saw at the Congress was not the gospel. Pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for those who are angry. If anyone says he loves God but hates his brother, he is a liar. And if you are angry, let it be without sin. The sun must not go down on your wrath. Do not give the devil a chance to work on you. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Our Lady Seat of Wisdom, Queen of Peace, Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You are invited to pray with us all day tomorrow, and especially during our period of Eucharistic Adoration from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Friday, January 8th.